guys, so this week I am talking about 10 things about bookstores. Maybe you guys have noticed this when you go to the bookstore or just any store in general or maybe not. I, I don't know. This is just what I've experienced. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have experienced this. So let's just go on this journey of experience. That made no sense, but okay. Number one is when you go to the bookstore on a Friday or Saturday night, there will always be these little tweens, teens. If you're a teen or a tween, I apologize if you're watching this, please do not take any offense of this. If you do take offense, then that means that you have in been involved in s the activities that I've listed. All right, I'm talking about those teens that they just go to the bookstore just to have a social hangout and they don't actually go there for magazines or books. And the worst part is those teens that they go to the YA section thinking that nobody's there and then they just, they make out and it's just like, True story actually, I went to a bookstore looking for a book and then there was this couple that were just sitting Look at me like I was just interrupting a very important moment in their life Excuse me, I'm actually here looking for a book and it just so happens to be behind you So number two prices I don't know if this is a pro or a con depends on how you look at it If you guys have noticed if you go to a bookstore's website They say you get 10% or 20% off and that is a complete lie because guess what you have shipping and handling and Plus the shipping and handling prices it comes out the exact same amount as if you were to go buy it in the store. And of course if you purchase it through Kindle or the Nook or something then obviously it's a lot cheaper. Ebooks are cheaper but yeah. Now this is a complete pro. I don't know if you guys in your Barnes & Noble you guys have like a Starbucks cafe there but that is such a pro because I could get a book, I could sit down, I could order my coffee and I could just chill. I can't, I can't imagine anything better to go with bookstores and coffee shops. Alright now this next one goes with popular and diverse books. When I go to a bookstore, immediately the first thing that they have on display is everything that's New York Times bestselling or new and popular. I understand this because obviously the bookstores, they need to sell stuff that actually sells. Understandable. I mean, and it's great that they have these popular books on display, but sometimes I just want to read something that I've never read before. And I feel like the main things that they have on display, at least in my bookstores, is everything that everyone is reading. And it's like, I have to go to a completely unknown section corner of the bookstore in order to look for something different and unknown. Okay, one thing that completely bugs me, especially young people, that for example, this has happened to me a couple of times. I am just wandering aimlessly in the bookstore and there are these two young girls and they start talking over the fault in our stars and they just, they say that this is the best book that has ever come out. There's no other book just like it. And I'm thinking, have you read any other novel? I do genuinely love uh, some of the popular books that are out these days, but some of the greatest books that I've read are from unknown authors, but I wish I could just tell them like, hey, you know, there's like a whole lot of other books out here you should totally check them out not just you know these three very popular books at the moment I mean if, unless you want to read that then that's fine but that's just my thoughts number seven a total pro about bookstores is author events I just love it when I'm able to meet a new author or just meet an author that I've been wanting to meet for a long time and that's just awesome okay number eight it's not really a con, but it's more of just me babbling. Okay, the closing hours, let's say Barnes & Noble, it's like at 9 o'clock or in my indie bookstore, it's the same time. I wish they would extend that to like maybe 9.30 or maybe 10. So, I mean, that's just a little thing, but I just wish they would extend the time. But I understand because not many people go to the bookstores at night. I'm the only loser that does that, but you know what? It's whatever. I'm pretty sure there has to be some other people out there that love to go to the bookstore later on at night. Okay, number nine, again, I don't think this is a pro or a con, this is just me talking. How cool would it be if bookstores had comfy chairs and couches scattered throughout the store? When the cafe is super full, everybody goes around the store and sit in the floor or sit in a windowsill just to read a book. So yeah, comfy couches, please. All right, and number 10, I wish that they had some sort of discount reward services. Okay, I know Barnes & Noble gives you like 10% off if you're a member and stuff. I wish the reward services was kind of like Starbucks or Panera that after you purchase a certain amount of things, then you get like half off about something or maybe you might get like a free something, like maybe a free magazine or maybe a free coffee, I don't know. I mean, I understand they have to make money and this is how they make money I totally get it I know I'm just saying I wish the reward services would be a little bit more rewarding okay guys well I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if any of these things has happened to you guys if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for weekly videos so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye Jared Leto as the Joker that is creepy